Good morning, Mavens. I'm Andrea. Welcome to the Homemaking Maven. This is Magdalene. There's Jackson. And yes, all my buckets have arrived. I'm so excited. So today we are talking about food storage. You know it. My buckets have finally arrived. I'm so excited. Let me show you the quick footage of me ordering the buckets and we'll get into the video. Almost 10 o'clock at night and so I am just ordering these buckets from Uline. So I just wanted to show you how easy it was. And so you just go on their website, uline.ca, and you're able to choose whatever color you want. These five gallon buckets are actually their cheapest. They're 750 each. And then we're going to order the gamma lids, which are the ones that you screw top um, so that they seal extremely well. And so those will be, we'll get more than 12 of them. So they'll end up being $8, oh sorry, ten dollars each so seventeen fifty for the buckets plus we'll have to do shipping and yes i did order the catalog because that's just that's just my style so can you believe i filmed that only two days ago now we went with a local courier and we decided to go with a, a smaller name because we just i don't know just wanted to support local it saved us a few dollars there so we thought it'd be a little bit slower with you know a smaller courier they got here in two days two days all my buckets, my gamma lids. I'm so excited. So we're gonna open this up, have a look, and we're gonna start to fill the buckets. Welcome to my basement. So these are the buckets that I ordered. They're just a five gallon bucket. And then these are what are called gamma lids. They've got these wonderful X in the middle. And what they do is they take any five gallon bucket, you snap this on, And then the top will screw off just like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my husband to push down on these, make sure that they really snap. Yeah, that's not snapping. I'm not, <laughs> not heavy enough to make it snap. What do you think is best? Do you think it's best to take this off to yeah, snap it I'm on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, because then I can put my hands right in. Oh, okay. Right, like I'm really getting it. Okay. I'm like do it like this. Is that firm? All right. That's on. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's a key in here with me. Okay, so my husband snapped these on for me, and if you saw it, it was not easy. <laughs> he had a heck of a time, and he really had to push down with all of his weight to snap this on. Now, he did find it easiest to take the lid off to snap the rim around, um, because then it allows some give for the movement anyway. So I've seen the gamma lids for sale on Amazon and Uline. That's about it. Uline has the best price because they're only $10 each and they have, I think like eight different colors to choose from. So I just chose them to match the buckets. So white lids for white buckets, red lids for red buckets, blue lids for blue buckets. It's all in the Uline catalog. Of course, you can just go online and look at their website, which is a great website, by the way. The reason I went with Uline, because I was told you could get the buckets at Walmart, at Home Depot, other places like that, is because Uline has that they are food safe. FDA compliant, right there. So it is food safe. And the buckets that I found at Walmart and Home Depot, they didn't Say anywhere that they were FDA compliant so I had no idea and I wasn't gonna use the bucket to mix cement or store sand in or anything like that like I, I need it for food so I wanted to make sure that the plastic was okay that if food touches it it's not going to cause any problems for me and my family so if you can find your buckets you know at Walmart or wherever then those are going to be much more cost effective because you do have to pay for shipping from Uline and where I am in northern Ontario Canada it was quite expensive it was over a hundred dollars to have everything shipped but to cut for me to drive down and pick it up because that's an option. Um, I don't live in Southern Ontario, so it would have cost more in gas for me just to drive down there and get it. So we just paid to have it shipped and it all works out in the end. And now I have my buckets and I will use them for a long, long time. And so I'm so, so happy. <laughs> but if you can get the buckets and outsource your gamma lids, it'll, it might work out better for you that way, cost wise. So uh, I have all the lids off now. So this is the, the screw top lid. 
And so it allows the bucket to now be watertight, which is awesome. So things can't get in or out. It's not vacuum sealed. Um, so, you know, I, potentially your food could still rot in the bucket if you're putting food that's kind of on the way out already. Um, but nothing new is going to get in. So it's going to be safe that way. It'll keep critters out. It'll keep bugs out, all that good stuff. Okay, so now what am I gonna put in these buckets? Well, the number one thing I want to store is flour, and that's because I find flour is really hard to store on its own. Critters like to get in, it likes to try and turn bad, and so I'm going to be storing flour in all of these white buckets. Because I wanna make sure that there's nothing wrong with the flour before I put it into the bucket, I wanna make sure I have the best flour possible. I actually stuck some of the bags I bought in the freezer. And the reason I did so is because I read online that if anything gets into your flour before you're able to store it, there won't be a problem anymore. Now, my husband very cleverly said that, well, we're in Northern Ontario, Canada. If you don't have room in your freezer, just leave them in your trunk overnight and that'll take care of anything. So <laughs> though I personally have not had any bugs get into my flour, I do have a friend who did. So I definitely want to be cautious with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the flour out and put it right into my bucket. Ta -da! So now all I have left to do is screw on my lids. I'm going to leave them just in the bags, just like this. Um, again, just to eliminate contamination of me touching the flour or, you know, the flour touching the plastic. I did wash the buckets, or more specifically, my kind husband did. He washed these four buckets for me. I'm going to put these lids on. And that'll be my flour stored safely. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, no. I'm really terrible at making things, making sure things are straight. Okay. Okay, they're done. I am, however, going to do a little experiment. I did buy two new bags of flour. Ooh, right here. So they haven't been in the freezer. They haven't been in my house for, you know, more than 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna stick them in a container and see if a freezing the flour actually makes a difference, positive or negative. It might not make any difference at all. Um, but again, I'm in Canada, so most of my flour probably end up frozen anyway, just transporting it from the store to my house in a cold car. What I am going to do on the lids is I'm going to just take this erasable marker. I'm just going to draw a little snowflake on the top, and that way I'll know that these buckets, the flour has been frozen. So if I notice a difference, I'll be able to see that in the future. Find me while I work around my husband's uh, workout equipment here in the basement. <laughs> Once I have my buckets all filled, I'm going to label them with a marker. Yes, I've already told you the white ones are flour, but I'm also going to number them one to 10. And that way I'll be able to always use the next number and um, then fill them as needed. Um, yeah, it's just an easier way for me to keep track of everything. Um, I do realize I'm going to be needing to use some of the other colors just for the flour because I need at least one per month. We go through about one of these bags a month of flour, if not more. Now, do you need this many buckets? Not necessarily. <laughs> if you have a family with five kids or more, then yeah, you probably need as many buckets as I have. But if you have a much smaller family, a traditional family with two kids or fewer, then you don't need this many buckets. You would need 10 at most for your family. And that's for a whole year. And again, it depends how much you eat in terms of rice, how much you eat in terms of beans, how much you eat in terms of flour. We make everything or as much as we can from scratch. And so that's why I'm going through a lot of flour. <laughs> so let me continue working and then I can show you the completed wall of buckets. <laughs> So before I do that, I'm going to show you a couple clips now. I did go to the store and did try and do a lot of price matching. Anyway, have a look at these clips and you can see a couple different stores where I went to try and get the bulk bag size. That's mainly what I was looking for. And I was also looking for a great price, which is less than a dollar a pound. All right, so we're in the independent. You can see they have a lot of bags of rice. There's giant 18 kilograms of rice there. So I'm going to do the math and see if we can use any of these giant bags in our store storage buckets. 
And this is their price on beans. So it's almost $4 for two pounds. And that is not great at all. And they come in these little tiny two pound bags. So I'm having a really hard time getting a good source of bulk beans. So we're gonna try Walmart. So Walmart does have an eight pound bag or three kilograms for $8.94. But I am looking to get it for less than a dollar a pound. This is $7.94 for eight pounds of chickpeas. That's a good price on chickpeas. So Walmart also has a lot of these two pound bags and they're all over a dollar a pound. Yeah, lots of different types of beans, but still small bags. I was hoping to get some bigger bags. And this is Walmart's rice selection, 17 pounds for $15.97, so that's good. Okay, so here we are at Freshco. Here are all of their beans. They do have a two kilogram bag, so that's nice and big, although I don't want lima beans. <laughs> but they do have only $1.99 for two pounds of pinto beans, and even only $1.99 for two pounds of the navy beans. Definitely the best price I've seen, but only in these little, little bags. Look at the fresh co rice. It's on sale for ten dollars for eight kilograms. It's amazing. They got some really great prices. This is some uh, brown rice, twelve ninety nine regular price for eight kilograms. Yeah, lots of big bags too. Definitely the place to come for rice. Okay, welcome back. It's been almost a week. I have uh, another store I want to try out. I want to try out the uh, no frills. I'm just running out of time because I want to show you an update on how I'm doing with the buckets. So I've got them stacked here. This is just a blank wall in my husband's workshop. So this is what I have to date. And uh, I'm gonna share with you what I have put in each of the buckets. Um, but a couple of things. One, I've been washing them. It takes a long time. <laughs> I usually in the evening when my kids are asleep, you know, I've got an extra hour or so before I need to hit the hay. And that's when I'll do projects like this or catch up on laundry, et cetera, et cetera. Well, my daughter has been having a hard time going to sleep. So I'm having a hard time getting all my jobs done anyway. So this is the number of buckets that I've washed and I need to do more because I have 10 of these white buckets. I have five red and five blue. So I will share with you um, the breakdown that I'm going to be doing, but this is what I have to date. So in these buckets here, they are labeled flower one, two, three, four. So those buckets are full. I just took my bag of flour, like you saw, jammed them in. It was fantastic. Then I went and bought the Rogers flower. The Rogers flower, as you can see, it doesn't fit in my bucket. <laughs> and that is because they are tall and skinny. So my plan is because I just need to take a few cups out is I am going to put a few cups in just a brown paper bag like this and then there is space behind it because it is quite narrow i'm just going to jam that flower in back there and hopefully the few cups that i you know con contaminate that i touch um they'll be okay because everything will be sealed and yeah i'll i'll try it out but i will give you an update on these buckets that i transferred remember they were frozen uh, in the freezer before this this bag was not so this is uh, my experiment not freezing the flour how well that turns out these bags uh they did condense on the outside there was a lot of moisture on the outside and i was really afraid that there was going to be moisture on the inside so after a couple days i opened the lid checked them out absolutely bone dry on the inside so that was Great, so, so far so good. So I have to adjust this flower, the Rogers flower. Same with that one down there, Rogers flower. Doesn't quite fit. This is my new oat bucket. I'm going to have one bucket of oats. Now I can't buy the large bags. I don't have a Costco or Sam's Club, anything like that near me. The closest is two hours away. And so I have to buy the smaller bags and the cheapest I can find them is the Walmart brand Quick Oats. That's only $2 for one kilogram. That's still less than a dollar a pound. I think it's like 90 cents a pound or so. And the red bucket beside. 
That is full of navy beans. So I was able to find an amazing deal on navy beans. This is from the Fresh Co. This is a two kilogram bag for only $3.99. So that is 90 cents a pound for beans, which is great, especially for the navy beans. This was by far the cheapest I could find. And so I've got a whole bucket full. My husband figures that's about six months if we had beans once a week. So I may need to get more of these guys, but I have five of these bags. So I have 10 kilograms of beans in that bucket. And then I have my two buckets of rice. They're still in the bags. They just look like that. So that's eight kilograms of rice. There's still space in there. So if I wanted to buy another bag of rice, I could easily fit it in there. So my great big plan for all my buckets is all of the white buckets will become all purpose flour, which means I'm going to use my remaining blue buckets as white flour as well. And um, so that will use up my three remaining buckets. So I'll end up with 13 buckets of white flour. And then I've got my oats, my navy beans, and my three remaining red buckets. Those will become brown flour. Now I'm having a little problem sourcing brown flour, just as we went through, um, you know, during the pandemic, white flour kind of went out of stock for a bit. Brown flour still hasn't come back in stock. I used to be able to buy the really big 10 kilogram bags of brown flour and I can't, I can only get the smaller bags. So I have been buying the smaller bags, but I'd like to get some big ones in order to finish filling my red buckets. And that's all my buckets filled. <laughs> so I will have 13 buckets of white flour. I will have two buckets of rice, one bucket of oats, one bucket of navy beans, and three buckets of brown flour. Now I may change it to two buckets of beans and only two buckets of brown flour. That's very possible just because I want to make sure that we have beans. So that if something were to happen again in the future, I know we have protein because beans are a wonderful source of protein if you can't get it any other way. But who knows, I may need to buy more buckets. <laughs> So that's what I have for you today, Mavens. Thank you so much for watching. Have I inspired you to buy buckets <laughs> or to increase your storage in any way? I would love to hear what you're doing, any plans that you've made. I'd love to hear it down below in the comments. Please, I'd love to see you commenting down there. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's commented in my past videos, and I'll sure to leave a shout out in my community tab. And if you're interested in these headbands, I've had questions about them, I'll be sure to leave a link down below. They're just from Amazon, but they aren't a headband like you would think. They're actually metal. <laughs> and you just twist it on like that. <laughs> I don't know that it's very functional, it just looks nice. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day, Ravens. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!